Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I hope you're having a lovely time so far. Thank you for clicking on this video and coming on this wild adventure with me. I've got a hen do this weekend, not mine, it's my cousin's. Basically, there's a theme where we've got to wear pink and green like a weekend. And I've got a lot of pink and green. I have a lot of colourful outfits. So I felt like, you know, I should be not the beacon, like, not the beacon, but I think I should, you know, do quite well here. I think I should be in pink and green all weekend. I can do it, it's doable. But the only thing is, is that I've got so many pink and green outfits that I don't know what to wear for what part of the event. <laughs> Which is really depressing. Like, I shouldn't have this, this many outfits to wear in separate occasions, whatever. But I thought we could do like a little come pack with me. Um, I can show you the outfits that I'm planning on wearing. I'm in my chill garms at this particular moment in time because um, I've just come back from a walk with Guy and I couldn't be asked to get changed and everything yet. There's no point. I'm going with, um, so my mum, my sister and my nan are coming to me and then I'm driving to Norwich and we're going to the like, maybe I'll vlog it. Mm, no, probably not. I was gonna go off on a different thing but I can't remember what. But, so, we have a variety of things that we're going to be doing. So. We're going to be arriving at the hotel spa place. Um, so I thought I'd wear my green outfit first. Wait, okay, hang on. This green sweatshirt. Oh my god, here we go. This green sweatshirt. And I've also got the matching joggers to match. So I was thinking about wearing that to the um, place as like a little sort of like, she's preppy just before dinner, look at her go. So I'm gonna pull up in that with like some trainers um, because it's gonna be like an hour's drive as well so there's no point in getting ready already. And, like crease myself all up, you know? I'll just get ready whilst I'm there. So that's what I'm gonna wear there. So this is why I'm not gonna wear makeup yet. I'll put the makeup on when I get to the hotel also. And then, so we get to the hotel at like, late afternoon evening we are then having dinner at like seven o'clock so i think people are dressing up as well i heard that people are wearing like dresses and heels however we're then going out out tomorrow evening also so i did a video i did a video i filmed a video with this dress and on instagram as well you guys went pretty mental for it and my cousin has requested that i wear this this weekend it's this little like mini dress, cow neck vibed dress. I really, really love it. The only thing is, is that I've come on. I've literally just come on. So I'm going to be a heavy arsehole this weekend. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about wearing this out out. I'll pack it and see how I feel. I might have to wear like shorts underneath just in case. So that's gonna be like for Saturday night. But for Friday night, see, like, right, stay with me. I was thinking, so I've got pink jeans or I've got green jeans. And I was thinking about wearing one of either. One of either. Oh, I've also got those. I completely forgot about those. Um, but I was thinking about wearing my green Zara jeans. And then, going a bit crazy. Wait now, wait now. I'm wearing a pink blazer. And then having like a little black bra underneath and just doing that. What do you think? Maybe I'll try them on beforehand and like give you like a show so you can see. But I think that would look really cute. And then as well, so we're going to be at the hotel. We're not going to be going far. Like I think it's just like a meal and then we'll sort of like have a little chat and then we're going back up. But I like the idea of wearing these shoes. They're, they're quite nice and comfy, so I feel like I'll be wearing those with that. I think that would look really cute. So that will be like the first evening outfit. And then Saturday during the day, we're then going for like our little spa sesh. And I've got two pink bikinis, one of them Meg's having. So I've got this one, this little like gingham, gingham one from Monkey which I'm not sure if I want to be wearing because if I've just come on, I don't know if I want a brave wearing pink and white. They're really nice though. I like the fact that they're high-waisted. Like I won't wear anything now that's not high-waisted. I really love 
that sort of waist. The next set I got from Curly K. I think they gifted it to me like last year when they were, I did like a little takeover there. Um, but I really, really love the like pink and red. It's really, really sick. And then also they've got like, um, so you can go sleeveless or there's like two different bands, if that makes sense. Um, I'll try and link them below, but I feel like it might be out of stock because it was obviously like last year. Okay, so then, so wait, what's the itinerary? We're going meal at the spa, Friday 7 p.m. Then Saturday we've got the spa day, so I've got my bikini. And then Saturday, let's flamingle, meal at Cozy Club and then crazy golf. So I feel like I need an extra nice outfit in case I'm feeling a bit ugh, and don't want to wear the dress. I feel like I need like a, a caution outfit. A caution outfit? An outfit that I can just like wear instead. I don't think I've got, oh, I don't think I've got pink and green um, pajamas. Let's have a look. Have a look and see. Oh my God, I haven't shown you. Wait, let's turn this around. Look. I got um, some like festive bedding from b &M. It's not festive bedding, but I got a little like fro and it feels so, so nice. Like look at how soft that is. And this bit as well, it's really soft. Like it looks so amazing. And I've just kept this um, like polka dotty Dalmatian-y print um, bedding on because I think it looked quite nice together. And then I've kept my green um pillow on there i just chucked these on this small so this also matches that look how cute and then i whack the um fairy lights on and it looks so nice and homey t-shirt and short vibes on there i reckon oh my god i've just realized as well i've got like pink and green um earrings i can wear here so i've got these like care bear ones ones i can't remember the brand for the life of me now though that sent them to me and then i've got like these ones as well that are all really sick and pink or i've got these little green dice dice yeah there's two of them so it's dice these little goldy hoops and i do like my gold hoops i've also got a pair of gold hoops from key australia that i really like to wear i'll bring them all i'll bring them all i just realized i also need a dressing gown, house coat, whatever the hell you want to call it, I call it a house coat, um, and I also need a towel. How could I forget that? Oh my god, I haven't got any flip-flops. Okay, so we've got everything packed in here now. We've got all of my outfits in this side. We've got my little chill wear set here that I'm going to wear on the way. These are for my sister. I've got my heels in here. I've got this amazing, oh my God, I haven't shown you this. It's a little like baguette bag. It's a glitter baguette bag from Naked. I've got another pair of jeans down here, a pink pair of jeans. I've got a lot of like what if outfits. I've got two outfits and then I've got an extra one just in case. I've got my charger, I've got like sanitary products in here as well for space conservation. Charger, I've got all of my makeup and bits and pieces in there. Oh my god, I need, I need remover. Oh my god, and I need rings. Oh my god, I'm naked. Oh my god, I've got so much to pack. What the fuck? Um, I've also put my dressing gown. My dressing gown's in here. It should be good. We should all be good. I've realised as well that I don't have any flip flops for like around the pool. I'm hoping that they'll have like maybe some free ones that I can like walk around in. Otherwise, we're screwed. Hello, you. I hope you're doing well. I thought I would quickly do a little homeware haul just for you so we've just come back from a really really lovely couple of days away in norwich for my cousin's hendu and it was really really fun um so we went to like a spa stayed over there overnight had some dinner then had some breakfast then went and had like the spa day there and then what else we do oh we played some golf at boom battle bar i don't know if you guys have heard of that if you're norwich bound if you understand where that is then saturday night we stayed in a premier in good old premier in we love a premier in then sunday so today me my sister and 
me, my sister, and my mum. I was like, I've already said an M, so I was like, oh, I've done mum. Have gone and done some shopping at some like homey places. I said to mum, I wasn't really that fussed about getting like clothes. I'm not really that bothered about buying any because I've been sent quite a few bits and pieces for like Christmas, like party wear um, recently. Uh, so I didn't really, didn't really want any. But today, as soon as Guy gets back from Woodbridge, he's with his dad at the minute doing like a car experience. I wish I'd gone. We literally have only just come home and Guy's just gone. So, so as soon as he gets home, I am going to force him to put the Christmas tree up because we were supposed to before I went, but I didn't have enough time. And to be honest, then it's going to be, a, it would have been out for a couple of days and I would have had time to have, you know, really reveled in it. Yes, I've got a couple more like Christmassy bits and pieces that I thought I would share with you guys. Show you where I got them from, along with, yes, a random, a random tiger here. Um, I'll show you that first because basically, I think you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate this. And I feel like Guy might hate this, but if that's the case, I will leave it upstairs. Um, basically, it's from Dunelm. It's just this little like tiger, it's a, it's a tiger head vase, a ceramic tiger head vase. Um, it's got a hole in the top, which makes me think maybe you could like put like flowers in it or something if you wanted to. Obviously it's a vase, yes you could. Every time that I've gone in there, I've gone, oh he's cool. Oh, he's cool. And I haven't picked him up because I've been like, mm, no. But he, I do, I am quite, quite drawn to him. Um, so I finally copped it, 15 pounds. But I was like, I've, I've really liked him for a little while. Therefore, he is mine. I don't know where I'm gonna put him. He might go upstairs, um, by the stairs we've got like a window ledge. Um, so I might just have a fiddle around there and maybe pop him up there. So what I also thought I'd show you is a couple of bits that I got from B&M the other day. You ran out of um, memory. Apparently my 128 gigabyte memory has gone. There's insufficient space. Quickly, some bits I got from B&M and then the stuff that I got today. So when we went on a walk, we went to that B&M place. We went to that B&M place, you know the one. Um, I got this which I really, really liked, actually. It's a little, like, pink with, like, speckly, sparkly bits on the side, and it was three pounds, and I was like, it'd just be quite cute to just pop on the table, you know? Because at the minute, all that I've got on those little coffee tables are literally, like, the um, coasters. These are also, um, I think these are the range, by the way, they're just, like, party ring survived the cup of coffee. Coasters! Christ alive! I can't speak this afternoon. Maybe this wasn't a very good idea. And then I started off my festive mug selection. I don't think I have any um, like seasonal festive mugs at the minute. So I started off the collection. These are again B&M and they were no more than three pounds. Like this one here, I really, really loved. This is Guy's. I've decided this one's Guy's because the other one he doesn't enjoy see-through mugs i don't know if you guys are the same but i really enjoy see-through mugs i like to what's in it i just quite like them and this one says tis the season to be cozy i just really really liked it i think it's either two pound or three pound like these are really really affordable and it's got like a nice little green handle that's the word handle um yes and this one as well so you've got santa you've got a little candy cane and then on the side here it says i'm on the nice list on the side like on the the lip is the lip a correct way to say it the lip um yes did i get everything else? I think that's every no oh my god so i think you guys might have seen the vlog by now of um me and my sister and my mum going to um blackfoot barn and then we've like popped a b&m in the range as well i'm quite partial to a b&m in the rain trip as well by the way um i think that's when you know that you're an adult when you're like oh you know when you just fancy going to b&m in the range that's when you know you're a house owner or like you, you're living in a house. I feel like it just like, you have that urge. Don't have anything to go. Don't, don't, there's no reason for me to go, but I just want to go. Like I have that urge. Um, yes, well, you guys understand that my mum has about 18 gonks. Yes, no, I'm not exaggerating. She has about 18 gonks. Um, well, I have joined her and I have one gonk now. I might end up with 
18 more to match her. No, she's got 19 now because she bought one today. She bought this one because I showed it to her in the group chat as soon as I got it. I was like, oh look, it's the Gavmeister. The Gavmeister is here. She was like, oh well, I like that. And I, we saw it in B&M today because we obviously went into another B&M today. And um, she's also got one and my sister's got a grey one. So I don't know where it's going. But again, I'll find a place for it. Probably down here somewhere. I just really want to make this place look really nice and sort of festive. But still have the colours in there. Because I've got like my colourful rug down here. I think I've shown you. This is my like colourful rug. Um, I got it from Danelle. Love her. Um, I've like kind of incorporated. So on the Christmas tree, all of the baubles that I've got thus far are all kind of like tied in with the um carpet as well as like then the cushions so everything kind of like is tied in because i didn't want to go for like just silver or just gold um and i felt like if i went red it wouldn't really go with then the carpet so we've gone for some like crazy baubles you guys have seen probably the baubles if you've seen the vlogs of me like doing a little haul and stuff for you um yeah very exciting stuff so then we get on to today's bits and pieces that I've purchased. So let's start off with Dunelm. So from Dunelm, I just got this simple little thick um, photo frame. So there's just one in here, but I really like the sort of like thicker ones that you can then just literally stand up by itself. By itself, fun. It has also got like a um, thing that you pull out and leave it there, but it literally will just stand. It will stand because I've got it upstairs already. It just stands up by itself. Boom, done. Also, I'm sorry, I've just realised in the background I've put the washing on, so you're just going to hear like whirring in the background, but I'll put some music behind anyway, so it won't sound too horrific, hopefully. It might just sound like background music. Maybe I won't put background music on and then you can just hear the soft churning of my washing machine. I think that would be quite nice for you. Very relaxing, no? And then, oh my God, this is the beautifulest scent i've ever smelt in my entire life so this is a reed diffuser um it's 5a fifth avenue and i got the fresh linen and bamboo it smells incredible um i don't know where i want to put it either because obviously i'm going to be working a bit more upstairs than i will down here and i think i did recently get some like little reed diffusery i think there's one here i got like a little reed diffuser so down here anyway just have these little simple ones. They're, these ones were also from B&M. Uh, I think they were like festive versions. I can't remember what the um, make and model of them are. But there's like a festive one. And then there was like a marshmallowy scented one. And this is like the festive Christmas tree one. It was green. That's all the package. That's, that's the packaging. This is all I have for you to show you. Because guys also emptied the bins. So it's also not going to be there to show you. But yeah. Just... But anyway. I wish you could smell this smell because it smells incredible. We went into, oh, this is Darnell, this is still Darnell, um, and this was £10. Look how bougie this is. So you could get this for like a Christmas gift if you wanted to because it looks so, so bougie. But I feel like, I don't know about you, but I feel like scents are quite not personal. But like, I feel like they've got to be quite specific. And if you don't know exactly what scents your friends or families enjoy, I would just rather not buy them for people. But like, they're really good gifts. They're, they are good gift ideas, but I just, I don't want that pressure. Them to open it and go, ah, this is nice. And they don't actually like that smell. Do you know what I mean? Like, I quite like um, rosy, um, florally scents, but I also enjoyed this scent. Like, unless you know, like, I know my mum really enjoys this Joe Malone reed diffuser that I got because my mum's friend got this reed diffuser already and she smelled it and she said, oh, yeah, I like that. I said to Roseanne, which one is it? And then... I bought it because I knew she'd like it. If you don't know someone's not going to like it, you're then just going to spend money on these reed diffusers that you don't even know if they like. I can't get the top open to smell it to then explain to you what the smell is. But this is what it looks like. It just looks so expensive and it was literally £10. Like it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. So yes, I think I might keep that upstairs potentially for myself if I'm going to be working away upstairs um, like in the next coming weeks for Christmas. And then I might bring it downstairs for people. But 
probably will stay upstairs for me. Okay, and then I and then I decided to get some more uh, dead flowers. They're not dead, they're dry. Um, <laughs> dead flowers, we love them. I do, I really, really do like them. I've already got some in our bedroom, mine and Guy's bedroom upstairs, I've got some in like a little vase, but I wanted to kind of like meet it out a little bit and potentially make another little vase for either my room or down here, just because I feel like normal flowers, you'll spend a tenner on them. By the way, these are a tenner. And dried flowers just last so much longer. Like the the um, pack that I got last year when I did like this thing with Superdrug, literally they're still upstairs. Like if you keep them dry, they're gonna last forever. So I'm just gonna keep myself some dried flowers for now. I might, you know, dabble a little bit and put, put some, um, normal flowers about the house at some point but i just feel like dry flowers they look nice all the time and you haven't got to keep them watered they don't go murky over a week you know they're just there and they're always there okay and then i think the rest of this oh wait no so i also got this from b and m it's a really lovely little orange candle and it is gingerbread cookie so i don't like spicy candles I'm not a fan of spicy candles, but this one, it has a little bit of ginger, but it's also like sort of vanilla-y as well. And I really, really like it. So although I don't really tend to melt many candles, I do quite like them just to sit there and look pretty, like so. Um, especially with like this little bit here. Oh, by the way, it was three pounds. Lovely little three pound candle. This is what I was, I. Sorry, three pounds for this whole candle. Yankee candle, over a tenner. No worries, three quid. Even if I just want it to sit there and look pretty, like it just, it does look pretty, look. And you know that I love my bright colours, so down here it's gonna look beautiful. Um, and if I want to light it and smell like gingerbread all around the house, then so I will. Or, you know, if it was three quid and it doesn't smell a lot, I haven't lost anything because it was three pounds. So there you go. Okay, now we're in Matalan. We're in Matalan home. I haven't done a lot of Matalan home recently because we don't live near a Matalan anymore. So I got some more baubles just purely because I feel like it matches again the room quite nicely. Look, you've got some reds, blues, greens, pinks. I just quite like them. I enjoy them very much. I know I've got quite a lot now. I've realized that I've got um, like a whole pack of silver ones. Um, but I won't obviously use all of the silver ones and I've got like the nice like crazy baubles as well that I can mix in with them. And then I've also got um, lights all ready to put round the Christmas tree. I think that's all I'm going to put on there. I think I'll just have baubles and lights and then obviously we'll put the thing up at the top. Which I have made an executive decision what we are now having. I bought a bloody star. Alright, I bought a star. Um, Guy had been to and him throwing, he was like, I said, I wanted a star. Guy said, no, it's tacky. I said, well, what else do you put on a, uh, what else do you put on a Christmas tree? An angel, I don't want an angel on the Christmas tree. I just simply didn't want a Christmas, uh, an angel on a Christmas tree. He said, okay, right, okay. I was like, well, what else do you put on a Christmas tree? An angel or a, Chris or a tree? Like, what else, a tree? An angel or a star? Please tell me. What what do you put on your Christmas tree? I'd like to know. Back at home, we used to um, put stars on ours. So I was just used to then having a star on our one. So I saw it today and I really enjoyed it. It also lights up. Which is really, really sweet. This is just like a little tester one, I think. Like, I think you turn this off and you've got like batteries here that you can then just light it up as and when you like. Which I just thought was really, really nice and sweet. And look. So this is going on the top of the Christmas tree and I don't care what guy says, it's happening. And then the last two bits I got were some more mugs. Another clear one and a reindeer because I've got a Santa. Santa, reindeer. And this one says up to snow good and it was five pounds look I'll show you this one first they actually had another see-free one and I was like but we didn't do that no we had restraint so I've now got two see-free ones and I've got two little like hard mugs because sometimes mugs can be soft 
no they can't yeah no this one as well and it was £3.50 as well isn't he sweet I really like it hasn't got anything on the lip though this time and yes I hope you enjoyed that little haul um so I think you'll just have to wait about now until uh, well I'm gonna have to wait about until I can put my Christmas tree up when Guy comes home so I'll see you very shortly like in a second for you um for us to put the Christmas tree up Fab. Yeah, in my yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's perfect. I think I might go for like a steady. Just a slow glow. Yeah, no, that's made. No, I want one that's just on. I'm, there we go. I, I tell you what, I'm actually glad that we don't have coloured lights. I enjoy. I don't like coloured lights. No, I like them. I like that. It fits the aesthetic of the room. It fits like with these lights, really. Like, oh, mate, that's. Packed. Turn the lights off. Let's get the full view. Yeah. Turn the lights you off. You need to screw that base in properly. Yeah, so I will really do in a second. Yeah, but if I turn this light on, it's going to be pitch black, isn't it? What, what, what? Hey, it looks fucking sick. Have oh, a wait, on. Well, finishing touch. We got. Oh shit! Go on, go on. Oh, oh, we need more AA batteries oh, to keep no. the ring on. That's the first thing I'm doing tomorrow. I'm getting AA batteries. <laughs> oh it's no! Way too heavy. I can feel the, the weight. That was too heavy. Oh, For God's sake! What the fuck do you put on there then? What do we do? Fuck. Mm -hmm.